Anthropoid. Doesn't it kind of sound like a cheesy science fiction movie about ants? I mean, seriously, think about it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very late, very late review of the film Anthropoid, which I have seen in theaters, and which is now out of theaters, and I believe it is available free streaming on certain things on Amazon, although I think you need to have an Android phone to do that, and, and I don't have one of those, but it is available on DVD and Blu-ray for an expensive price. And that is odd, because this is a movie that got absolutely killed in theaters. It had a box office of something like 3.6 million, and yet a budget of 9 million. So it was essentially Oscar bait. But this movie was surprisingly good. Now what this is, this is a biopic, or a um, drama entry regarding Operation Anthropoid, which took place in what was then Czechoslovakia during World War II, to kill one of the higher-up, Nazi generals. I believe he was the head of the SS. He's the highest level assassination in World War II history. And I went and I saw this. There were actually World War II veterans in the theater who were traumatized and had flashbacks because of what they saw. Now, again, I really can't point to any of the particular actors in this movie and say, well, this guy did a great job, because this particular film makes the actors seem small by comparison to what is happening around them. Small by comparison to the fact that there is just this massive Nazi presence, like a giant looming dragon over their heads. And it's like, you have this dichotomy of the whole concept of, do we ignore the Nazi thing and try to live our lives, or do we resist and reap horrible consequences to what the Nazis will do to us because we resisted. And this is, this is such a great, um, it's such a great uniqueness to this film. It's not like the horror movie where you're just trying to stay alive. This is a movie about something greater than yourself. This is a movie about a statement. There's one part in the film where, where they're talking about Operation Anthropoid, and it's going, you know how many people they're going to murder because we've killed this guy and, you know, they're just going to replace him and the repercussions will be huge. And the guy's like, you know, this is basically what High Command is saying. Are the Czechoslovakian people still willing to resist the Nazis? And the answer is, of course we are. It doesn't matter what happens to us because this is not about us. It is about something larger and something greater. And then there is one scene... I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's this scene where suddenly salvation is not survival, but death itself. And you've got this point where someone is struggling to reach that salvation. It is it's so unique. I very rarely see that, where people are going, yeah, you know, I'm so involved in this that I know that if I'm ever caught or ever accused, my only solace is to die. So here's the thing about Anthropoid. I know that the only people that are going to watch this are film buffs who absolutely should and history teachers who absolutely should. But let me tell you something. If you want to think of this as a horror movie instead of a drama entry, this is the most horrifying movie I have seen in 2016. Hands down, it's October when I'm filming this, this is the most horrifying movie I have seen in 2016. It absolutely held me for the whole time. It doesn't need a big theater. It's not designed for a big theater. There's no IMAX on this. You don't need your super home theater with your Dolby surround sound. All you need is a decent TV or computer, and you sit down and you watch this movie, and trust me, you're doing yourself a favor. Now, again, like I said, this film got killed at the box office. It was absolutely destroyed, made back barely a, over a third of its production cost. But that is so sad because I thought this was a great film. And I'm, the only star I can remember, I can't even, can't even pull his name out of my head, is that guy that played the doctor that created the Iron Man serum, or not the Iron Man serum, the Captain America serum, the Super Soldier serum in uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. That guy. And that guy, I mean, wow. You look at him originally and you think he's a German, but 
you know, I guess he plays a Czechoslovakian in this, or perhaps one of, of German descent. But he still loves his country. He's still a very striking image in all reality. Just, it says so much. I can't recommend this movie enough. I think that if you don't see this movie, your life won't be as complete. Really. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best movie I've ever seen. I certainly think films like, say, Aliens have far much more watch time. But, you know, I would say that you go out there, maybe get in with a couple of buddies, pitch in. It's like 19 bucks to get the DVD. P everybody pitch in, get, get uh, 10 people, everybody pitch in a few dollars. Get this DVD and, and share it, because you're sharing an experience you really need to have to understand our history. Now, this could just be coming from me, and I'll tell you something. There is something personal. Airplane for me about this film because my grandfather fled the Holocaust and he was living in what was then called Czechoslovakia. So there is something very close to my heart in this film, but you know what? This was still an incredible film and I thought it was dead on. If you know the history surrounding it, you'll probably like the film a little better. If you're a history buff, I mean, if you're a history buff, this is a must-see film. This is as must-see as, say, films like Platoon and Full Metal Jacket. It is that level of must-see for the history buff, for the lover of history, and for the person who has, has a standard interest in Militaria. Anyway, that's my review of Anthropoid. I really enjoyed this film because it was really different for me. And I'd like to, like to hear what the rest of you thought about it. So, comment in the comments down below. Let me know. What's another great horror... Or horror movie? What's another great World War II movie? I haven't seen a lot of those. I know... I know, well, like Inglorious Bastards, I think it was, was a movie out there. I didn't get to see that. So if you had, if you had, to, uh, you were just walking out of Anthropoid and you were saying, you know, it's another great horror, World War II. <clears throat> so if you were just walking out of Anthropoid and you were saying, you know what else is a great World War II movie? X. Tell me what that X would be. What is your favorite World War II movie? I'd like to know. I'm Richard Dean.